Chapter 16 Bread I have my first corn at the end of December. It isn't a lot of corn. I don't want to eat the corn. I decide to keep all the seeds. My goal is to put the seeds in the ground and have more corn later. I need some pots for the seeds. I look for clay on the island. I find some clay and I try to make a pot. I have no success at the beginning, but I try again and again. It is long work, but after two months of experiments, I make two pots. I put the pots in baskets. I put dry grass between the baskets and the pots. The dry grass and the baskets protect the pots very well. I continue to make small pots. Their quality is better and better. I also make long but not very high pots. I put seawater in them. When the water is gone, I have salt. One day, I find a broken piece of a pot in the fire. The fire makes the piece very hard. It is like a stone. The piece is very red, too. I have an idea. I take one pot, and I make a fire around the pot. The pot is very hard after two hours. I am happy with the result. I also need a tool with which I can make flour. I take a big piece of hard wood. I make a hole in the wood. I put the seeds in the hole. Then I take another piece of hard wood. I break the seeds in the hole with this second wood. The flour stays on the bottom of the hole. Now, I want to bake bread. I have an idea. I mix the flour with water. Then I take two stones. I put the stones near the fire. When the stones are very hot, I put the bread between them. Now I have my first bread on the island. The bread is not perfect. But I like the bread a lot. It is my first bread after a long time. It is during my third year on the island. I think about traveling around the island by sea. I think that it is possible to make a canoe. I want to make a canoe from a big tree. I find one big tree. I cut the tree. I start to make a hole in it. But after some days, I start to think about something. I start to think how to get the canoe from the forest to the beach. I think about it because I am quite far from the beach. I see that it is a problem. I see a small hill between the forest and the beach. It is not possible to move the canoe over the hill. The canoe is very heavy for it. I am really angry. I have to leave the canoe in the forest. Many days of work are lost. I don't believe that I can make such a mistake. I have to plan my work better next time. Chapter 17. Canoe. After three years on the island, my clothes are already very old. I start to use the skins of the animals. I make a cap and other clothes from the skins. I also need an umbrella. I try to make an umbrella from the skins, too. It is difficult at the beginning. It takes some time. But I am successful in the end. After three years, I am quite happy. I have everything what I need for my life. My life on the island continues for the next five years. During this time, I decide to make another canoe. The canoe is smaller. It isn't difficult to move it to the beach. The canoe is finished in June. I want to travel around the island in the canoe. I put food, water, and guns in the canoe. I am ready for the trip. The beginning of my trip isn't easy for me. I am in danger when my journey starts. I have to go around some rocks in the sea. When I want to go back to the land, I feel a strong current under the canoe. The current is taking me away from the island. The situation is horrible. I am scared. I can't survive in the open sea. I don't have enough food and water for a long journey. I fight very hard against the current for two hours. Then, I am able to get close to my island. I can continue my trip around the island. Now, I know that I am stronger than the currents around the island. I feel good. I feel strong. Soon, I find a small river. I go up the river. But I get nowhere because soon the river is very narrow. Stones block the way. I can't continue. I leave the canoe where it is. I want to explore this part of the island. I am not far from the part of the island which I know. Soon, I find the way to my house in the valley. I am very tired from the trip. Soon, I sleep. Then, I hear a voice. I wake up. The voice is saying my name. Robinson, where are you? Robinson, where are you? First, I am scared. But then I see my parrot pole. 
He sits on top of the fence. He knows these words from me. And he is saying these words with the same intonation as me. I'm surprised when I see him here. I think, why isn't he at home? But I am happy when I see him. I don't go back to the canoe. I return home with the parrot. I don't make such a trip for a year. I stay in my house most of the time. I make more tools and pots. I can also make very nice baskets now. Chapter 18, Foot. It is 11 years after my first day on the island. One day, I see that I don't have much gunpowder. It starts to worry me. I need gunpowder if I want to hunt animals. My first goat is very old. I want meat, but I don't have the heart to kill her. One day, she dies a natural death. With less and less gunpowder, I have to find another way how to get meat. I decide to make a trap. I am not successful at the beginning. But then I catch three young goats. They are one male and two females. I take them home with me. I keep the goats inside a small area. I make a fence around the area. But the area is too small for three goats. So I make a fence for them around a bigger area. It takes me three months to build this fence. But the area is very nice. There is a lot of grass and water for them. After some time, the young goats are very calm. Soon they eat from my hand. In two years, I have 12 goats inside my fence. And in three years, I have more than 20 goats. I have a lot of milk and meat thanks to this. I experiment a little. And after some time, I am able to make cheese and butter. My table is full now, and I have a lot of animals around me. I have my old dog, goats, and my parrot. The only thing which I still miss is somebody for a conversation. One day, I go to the part of the sea where the strong current is. On the way there, I think about how strange I look. I have a big hat, a short jacket, and short trousers. They are all made from animal skin. I don't have socks or shoes, but I put some goat skins around my feet. I have two belts. One belt is for the gun and knife, and one belt for the gunpowder. I also carry a basket on my back and an umbrella above my head. My beard is very long. I see that after 11 years on the island, I don't look like an Englishman. I am a different person. One day, I am walking on the beach. I am going to check my canoe. Then I see something surprising. I see a mark of a human foot on the sand. I look around, but I see nobody. I am scared. I run back to my house. I am so scared that it is difficult to sleep at night. Then, I think, Maybe it is all only my imagination, or maybe it is the mark of my own foot, and it is stupid to be scared. After this thought, I feel better. I leave my house, and I go look at the mark again. Chapter 19. Cannibals When I come to the mark of the foot, I see that the mark is much bigger than my foot. It's impossible that it's my foot. I'm scared again. I start to panic. I want to destroy my cornfields. I want to destroy my valley house. I need to hide my activity on the island. I'm so afraid that I can't sleep the whole night. Finally, I sleep a little in the morning. My heat is clear when I wake up. Now, it isn't so strange that people live on the islands around. I think maybe this is their first visit here. Maybe this island is not interesting for them. Maybe it's also their last visit here. I feel better after these thoughts. But I want to do something for my protection if the people come again. During the following month, I make another fence around my house. I make holes in the fence. Through these holes, I can easily shoot from guns if I'm attacked. Now, I have a house which is very well protected. Nobody can come easily near me. I also worry about my goats. I divide the goats in two groups. I built a smaller fence in another part of the island. I put one group of the goats there. It takes me a lot of time, but my animals are safe. After 16 years on the island, something very sad happens. My dog dies. I cry for three days. It's my worst day on the island. Fortunately, I have my goats. I go to them and I tell them how sad I am. They don't understand my words, but I feel that they understand me. They feel my emotions. They are unusually calm and quiet. It's now two years after the foot in the sand on the beach. One day, when I'm walking on the beach, I think that I see a canoe far in the sea. I'm not sure, so I continue to walk. 
Then I see a thing which shocks me. The beach is full of parts of human bodies. Heads, hands, feet, fingers, and teeth are everywhere. There is a black place after a fire. I'm angry but also scared. I can't look at this horrible scene for a long time. I have a horrible feeling in my stomach. I go back home and I think about what to do. Now, I can't go out to sea with my canoe. I have no chance against a group of cannibals in the open sea. I also can't use guns because the sound of a gun is very loud. But I always have guns with me for protection. I think that maybe in the future, I can kill some cannibals. And I can save their prisoners. Look for a place near the beach where I can hide and prepare for the attack. Then I change my opinion. I think that it's not good to fight the cannibals. I don't know these people. They don't attack me. Maybe it isn't good to attack them. Finally, I stop the preparations for the attack. I decide to attack them only if they attack me first. Chapter 20. Cave. I'm hiding my activity on the island. I'm very careful. I try not to be loud. I'm worried when I make a fire. But I need fire because I need to cook. So when I make a fire, I try to make only little smoke. Smoke can go very high. People can see smoke from a big distance. One day I discover a small cave in the forest. The cave is near the beach. I go inside. When my eyes are okay with the dark, I see two eyes. The eyes are looking at me. I jump outside. I'm scared to death. I wait, but nothing happens. I go slowly to the beginning of the cave and I listen. I hear something. It hears some animal. I think that the animal is injured. I take my gun and I go in the cave slowly. When my eyes can see again, I see an old goat. The goat is dying in the cave. I return to the cave the next day. I see that the goat is dead. I look around the place. I see that the place is very safe. It's a good place near the beach where I can hide. So I bring some guns and some gunpowder there. It's 23 years after my first moment on this island. I live comfortably now. I have many animals around me. Pole is repeating my name and some other words very nicely. I have two other parrots. I teach them how to say my name. I have more than 30 goats. One day, I'm walking to my fields in the morning when I see fire on the beach. I quickly return to my house. I prepare all my guns. I take my telescope. I go close to the beach. I hide behind a tree. I watch what is happening on the beach. I see nine naked people. They have two canoes, and they are leaving. When they leave, I go to the beach. The beach is full of blood and bones again. I'm angry again. I decide to kill them if I see them again. But they don't return for a long time. One day in the evening after a big storm, something strange happens. I hear the sound of a gun at sea. I go to the beach. I see a light. The light is coming from the sea, but it's very far. Then I hear the gun again. I know that some ship is near my island. The ship is in danger. The ship is asking for help, but it's very dark. I don't see the whole ship. I take a lot of dry wood. I make a big fire on the beach. The men on the ship probably see the fire because they shoot again. I think, I can speak to somebody tonight. This is great. I keep the fire until midnight, but nobody comes to my beach. It's very strange. I don't understand it. I think, where are the men from the ship? Chapter 21. Visitors. The next day in the morning, I see the ship. The ship stops very far from the beach. The ship looks empty. I don't understand it. I expect the people from the ship. I really want to speak with somebody. I miss communication with real people very much. I take my canoe. I go to the ship. I want to see if somebody is alive. The ship looks Spanish. The ship is completely destroyed. When I'm close to the ship, I see a dog. He is very happy when he sees me. I give him bread and I give him water. He is hungry and very thirsty. I find nobody on the ship. Where are the men from the ship? I think. It's very strange. I don't have an answer to this question. It's a mystery. There are many boxes with different things on the ship. Some boxes are small. Some boxes are big. I find bottles with alcohol in some big boxes, but these boxes are too heavy. I can't take them on the canoe. 
I find guns and gunpowder. I take them to the canoe. I also find some other useful things. I return to the island in the evening with some small boxes on my canoe. I have some new shirts and also gold, silver, and a lot of gunpowder. The gunpowder is important for me. On the island, gunpowder is more useful than money or gold. There is something else what I need very much. I need shoes. I find two pairs of shoes on board the ship. I take them with me. I put all my new things in the cave. I make five trips to the ship. I take everything useful for me. Then I hide the canoe. Everything goes back to normal. Time goes quickly. I often think about the men from the ship and the cannibals on the beach. One night in March, I have an interesting dream. In the dream, I see two canoes with cannibals who come to the beach. One of their prisoners runs away. He comes to my house. I save him. Then he becomes my friend. He helps me go through the dangerous waters around the island. I wake up, but the dream stays in my mind. I believe that if somebody helps me, it's possible to get away from the island. Maybe I can save one of the prisoners of the cannibals. I decide to watch the beach more. I go every day around the beach for the next two years. I hope to see the canoes. My wish becomes reality one afternoon. I see five canoes with more than 30 men on the beach. I can't attack so many men. I have to wait. I watch them with my telescope. The visitors make a fire. They dance around the fire. I also see two other men. They are tied. They are prisoners. After some time, the cannibals take one tied man to the fire. They kill the man. The cannibals paint their bodies with his blood. It's like a theater. But this isn't a theater. It's real. It's horrible. But I can do nothing. There are too many cannibals. The second man is waiting on the side. When the cannibals don't look, the second man jumps up, and he starts to run away. He is running in my direction. I run to the beach, and I hide behind a tree. I see that only two cannibals run after him. This is the right moment to save the prisoner. The man runs fast, but the cannibals are faster. They are closer and closer to him. I prepare two guns, and I'm waiting behind the tree. Chapter 22. Friday. The prisoner is running directly to my tree, but he doesn't see me. I don't move. Then he runs around me. I'm still behind the tree. When the first cannibal runs close to me, I jump from behind the tree. He is shocked. I shoot him. The second cannibal sees this. He tries to shoot an arrow at me. I have to shoot him too. The prisoner stops when he hears the gun. He turns. He is scared. I smile at him. I show him that it's okay to come closer. He comes to me. He goes down to his knees. He puts his head on the ground. Then he takes my foot. He puts my foot on his head. I show him that he can stand up. He stands up. He looks at the dead cannibals. He goes to their bodies. He looks at the holes in their bodies. He probably can't understand why the cannibals are dead. It's unbelievable for him. He takes the arrows from the dead men. We take the bodies of the cannibals. We hide the bodies in the forest near. Then we go to the deeper forest. I take the man to my cave. The cave is my secret. Nobody can find us there. I give him bread, meat, and some water. He is very tired. He sleeps immediately. I have an opportunity to look at him. I see that he is young, slim, but very strong. I think that he is about 25 years old. He has long black hair, dark skin, and a pleasant face. I let him sleep, and I go outside. I sit near the cave, and I watch the space around the cave. Some cannibalists can come and look for us, but they don't come. Three hours later, the man comes out of the cave. He shows me how happy he is that he is alive and safe. I speak to him. I give him a name. His name is Friday, because it's Friday today. I tell him my name and I teach him yes and no. We stay in the cave at night. The next day, we go on top of the hill. I see through my telescope that the canoes are gone. We are alone on the island. We go carefully to the beach. First, we go to the place with the bodies of the dead cannibals. When we find them, 
Friday wants to eat them. I'm angry. I show to Friday that it's not good to eat them. Here I understand that Friday is also a cannibal. We bury the cannibals. Then we walk to the beach. What we see is horrible. There are human bones on the sand. The sand is red with blood. We collect all the body parts. We prepare a big fire. I want to burn the body parts in the fire. We go to my house. I make a little tent for Friday. The tent is between the two fences which are around my house. I'm a little scared. I don't know if Friday can hurt me. After some time, I see that I don't have to be scared. Friday is a very good man. He is like a son. And I'm like a father for him. In many situations later, he shows me that he wants to give his life for me. I'm very happy that I have Friday on the island. I begin to teach him. I teach him what he needs to know about life like a European. First, I teach him some new words. I start with hi, hello, bye, thank you. It isn't easy at the beginning, but I'm patient. I'm happy that I can speak to somebody. Chapter 23 Conversation I'm happy that Friday is on the island. I want to show him what I eat. I shoot a young goat. Friday is scared of the gun. He doesn't understand how such a small thing can kill a goat. He doesn't want to touch the gun. We make a soup. When I cook the soup, Friday goes to the forest and he brings some herb. He puts the herb in the soup. The herb is similar to pepper. The soup smells fantastic. The soup tastes fantastic, too. The next day, we cook goat meat with sauce. Again, Friday brings some herbs and also plants. The herbs make the sauce taste great. We make a nice salad from the plants. I teach Friday how to prepare corn and bake bread. Soon, he can bake very good bread. Then we make my field bigger because we want to have more corn. In all activities, Friday helps me a lot. He can also catch fish very well. Our cooperation is simply great. We are a good team. I want to teach Friday English. I want to teach him fast. I want to be a good teacher. I take my role very seriously. I think about the best method how to teach Friday English. When I speak fast, Friday doesn't understand, so I try to speak slowly. I also speak only in the present, and I use simple words. I also say only short sentences. Now, Friday understands more. We speak about many topics. When Friday doesn't understand something, I point at it, or I explain the word to him. If it doesn't help, I make a picture in the sand. Soon, Friday starts to understand many sentences in the present. He also starts to use some words. His pronunciation is very bad at the beginning. But it isn't important for me. I understand him. And I'm very happy that somebody speaks to me. Friday is a good student. He is clever. He improves quickly. Soon, he can say some words like an Englishman. Of course, not all words but the words which he says correctly make me very happy. I see that Friday very often repeats aloud what I say. I think that it also helps him to learn so fast. I think, learning a language is quite easy. You only need to copy what you hear, and if you don't understand something, you need a picture. Then, you need a lot of practice. This is the best system. Friday's progress is fast. He is able to talk more and more every day. In a couple of months, we can have a nice conversation. Friday likes my tools. They are very interesting for him. He especially likes the telescope. He borrows the telescope very often. He goes to one hill, and he watches everything around. One day, we speak about Friday's people and why they have enemies. He says, There is a war between two groups of local people. We are neighbors but we don't like each other. We have many conflicts. There is never peace. We kill each other whenever we can. Friday tells me that they eat human meat like their enemies. They also do rituals when they catch their enemies. Friday tells me about the sea and the currents in the sea. Thanks to Friday, I know more about the history, culture, and traditions of his people. Chapter 24 Knife I tell Friday my story. 
I describe England and Europe to him. I tell him about our cities, schools, ships, and traveling around the world. I tell him that education is important in Europe and that we study from books. It's all new to him. Friday's people don't need schools on the islands. They have all what they need for their life. When I feel that I can trust him enough, I show him how gunpowder works. I teach him how to use a gun. I give him a knife and a belt. He is happy with my presence. He says that it's not the first time when he sees such a knife. He says that some white men live with them on their island. He counts 17 Europeans. I think that these men can be the sailors from the Spanish ship. Friday tells me that they are okay. I'm happy when I hear that some Europeans live not very far from my island. I start to plan how to meet them. The next day, we go on a small trip around the island. First, we go to the cross, where I want to mark another day. What is it? asks Friday when we come to the cross. I explain that we have seven days in a week. These days are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. When Friday hears the word Friday, he laughs. I explain to him why his name is Friday. Now he fully understands the meaning of his name. During the walk, Friday tells me, If we build a canoe, we can go to my island. I take Friday to the other side of the island. I show him my canoe there. But he says, This canoe is too small for two people. We have to make a bigger canoe. So we start to make a bigger canoe. We have to cut a big tree, and I show him how to cut the inside of the tree. It takes us a month to make the canoe. And it takes us two days to move the canoe to the beach. The canoe is ready, and we are ready too. The day before we want to go, Friday goes to the beach. He comes back very quickly. He looks very scared. He says that there are three canoes on the beach. He is scared because he thinks that the cannibals are here, because they want to find him. I tell him, don't worry, we are strong, and maybe they don't come for you today. Let's wait and watch. We take 15 guns. We go on top of a hill. We see 14 cannibals, two prisoners, and three canoes on the beach. They stop close to the place where the forest is near the beach. It's good because it's easier to attack them and save the prisoners. We go to them quietly through the forest. I think about my right to kill them. I have no reason to shoot so many people who do nothing wrong to me. After some thinking, I decide only to watch and attack them, only if it's necessary. Chapter 25 Father When we are very close to the beach, we see that the cannibals are around the fire. They start to eat the first prisoner. The second prisoner is still alive. He isn't one of Friday's people. He is European. The cannibals want to eat him, too. I decide to save him if it's possible. We move closer to the cannibals, but we are still hidden behind the trees. Twelve cannibals are still around the fire, but two cannibals go for the white man. When I see this, I prepare the guns. I ask Friday if he can do the same. Then we shoot quickly at the cannibals from six guns. We kill three and seriously injure two of the cannibals. The other cannibals jump up, but they don't know where to run. They don't know from which direction the danger comes. Some run to their canoes. Some stay on the beach. We continue to shoot. We shoot three other cannibals. After that, we take our guns and we run to the beach. We shout very loud. I run to the prisoner and Friday shoots another cannibal who is near. I free the European. He says something in Spanish to me. I give him a gun. He is weak, but he can shoot. The cannibals are shocked by our quick attack. Our unusual guns scare them a lot. Only two cannibals try to fight us. We shoot them with our guns. Friday fights very well. He quickly kills one cannibal who is injured. The second injured cannibal runs to the forest. Friday runs after him, and he kills him with his knife. Only three cannibals are able to run away. They jump in their canoe, and they start to leave. Friday shoots at them, but he doesn't hit them. It's dangerous to let them go because they can tell their people about us. We want to jump in one canoe, and we want to follow them. But to our surprise, we find another man on the bottom of the canoe. He is scared. He doesn't see the fight. He only hears the fight. 
Ropes are around his neck. He is in great pain. It's difficult for him to breathe. I quickly cut the ropes. When Friday sees him, he starts to cry. Then he laughs and he hugs the man. Then he jumps and begins to dance around him. Then he cries and laughs at the same time. When the strongest emotions are gone, Friday tells me that the prisoner is his father. I feel tears in my eyes when I see the son's love for his father. This happy incident delays us, and the cannibals are already gone. Friday massages his father's hands and feet. The massage helps him. It brings more blood to the hands and feet. Soon his father feels much better. When they talk, Friday suddenly jumps up. He runs to the forest very fast. When he comes back, he has a bottle full of fresh water. He gives the water to his father, who is extremely thirsty. After he drinks, I ask Friday to give the rest of the water to the Spanish. He needs water very much, too. The Spanish thanks me a lot. He has problems to walk. He is very weak. I ask Friday to massage his feet, too. It helps him. Then, I want to help the Spanish go to the canoe because it's very difficult for him to walk. We want to take our new guests to our house. But Friday is young and strong. He has a lot of power. He takes the Spanish on his back and carries him to the canoe. He carefully puts him inside the canoe. Chapter 26 Dinner When the Spanish is inside the canoe, Friday jumps out of the canoe. He pushes the canoe along the beach. Soon we reach the place near our house. Friday helps our new guests out of the canoe, but they aren't able to walk. We have to carry them to our home. We have another problem when we reach our house. Friday's father and the Spanish can't go over the fence. I think about the solution. First, I want to pull them over the fence, but the cannibals are already gone. There is no danger from them now. So, we can stay outside the fence. We make a tent for them outside the fence. We prepare soft beds for them too. When we finish this, I start to cook dinner. Friday brings some fish and we cook them quickly. We have dinner together in the tent. Friday translates for me because the Spanish can speak Friday's language. After the dinner, Friday goes back to the beach. He brings back all the weapons. The next day, we bury the bodies of the killed cannibals. It's a lot of work. I speak with Friday's father the next morning. I want to know what he thinks about the cannibals. I ask, can they return? Can they attack us? He says, no, they can't attack us. They are scared of the guns. They think that you and Friday are spirits sent from heaven. I'm still worried that the cannibals can return, but they never return. When our guests are strong enough, I begin to think about the journey by sea again. I ask the Spanish why he is on these islands. He says that he is from the Spanish ship. He says that there are 16 Europeans on Friday's island. They are Spanish and Portuguese. They want to go home, but they can't build a ship because they have no tools. I show the Spanish the tools which I have from the ship. He says that with my tools, it's possible to build a ship. I think that the Spanish and Friday's father can return to their island. They can tell other Europeans about my tools. Together, we can build a ship. Then, we can go to Brazil or Havana or maybe Europe. But the Spanish want something else. He says, It's be better if we wait for some time. There isn't enough food for 16 other men on the island. We need more food to eat when we build the ship. I agree with him. He and Friday's father help us expand the fences and fields. We catch more goats. Now, we have 50 goats. We collect a lot of fruit, then we dry the fruit. We also prepare the materials for the ship. I choose some trees. I show the others how to cut the trees. Then we make long and thin pieces. Soon, we have a lot of food. We have a lot of corn. We need more baskets and pots for the corn. The Spanish knows how to make baskets. He has a great talent. His baskets are excellent. He uses a special technique when he makes baskets. The technique is fast and effective. He makes the baskets three times faster than me. I want to learn his technique. 
He teaches me. I'm not as fast as the Spanish, but I'm faster than before. Chapter 27 Englishman We put all the food in my cave. The food is safe there. The Spanish and Friday's father can go back. They can bring the other men here. We give them food and four guns in case the cannibals want to attack them again. Then they take the canoe and they go away. Two days pass when something unusual happens. Friday wakes me up at six in the morning. Are they here? I ask Friday. He says, no, but somebody else is here. There is a boat at sea. I go to the top of the nearest hill. I see the boat. It's clear that these people are not the friends from Friday's island. The boat comes from a different direction. I also see a ship. I know this shape. The ship is English. I'm confused. It's true that I'm happy when I see Englishmen after 27 years on the island. But I'm also worried. The island isn't near ways of English ships. I don't remember any storm yesterday. So, why are they here? Maybe the men are pirates. Maybe they want to hide something on the island. I decide to be very careful. Friday and I stay in the forest and we watch them. The boat comes to the beach and I count eleven men. Soon I see that they are all Englishmen. Three men have hands tied together. The eight other men take them to the beach. Two prisoners are calm, but the third prisoner tries to say something. He looks very scared. He asks the men in the boat for something. When Friday sees this, he turns to me and he tells me that Englishmen also eat people. I tell him that they definitely don't plan to eat them. I think that they want to shoot them. After some time, we see that this isn't their plan. The men from the boat start to explore the island. The three tied prisoners sit on the beach with two men as guards. The prisoners look very sad. Their situation is bad. Low tide comes soon. The level of the sea is low. Their boat is on the sand. They can't move the boat. I hear them say, we have to wait and leave with the next high tide. This give us some hours. Friday and I stay in the forest until dark. Then I see that the men who stand the guard start to sleep. The three prisoners sit under a tree quite close to us. It looks like they are also quite far from the other sailors. We can come closer to them. When we are very close to them, I speak quietly to them. We are still behind the trees and they can't see us. When they hear my voice, they can't believe that somebody speaks English to them from the dark forest. What is that? asks one of the men. I hear something. I hear a tree speak, answers the other. But it's impossible. A tree can't speak English. Yes, you hear something, but it's not a tree, I say quietly. My name is Robinson Crusoe. I'm an Englishman. I live on this island. I can help you if you tell me who you are. After the first shocking moment, one man answers my question. He is the captain of the ship. But after a rebellion on the ship, the captain, his assistant, and a passenger are prisoners. The other sailors want to leave them on the island. The captain says, The truth is that there are only two dangerous sailors who control the others in the group. Eighty percent of them are still loyal to me. If the leaders are caught, the rest can return under my control. Chapter 28 Control I say, I can help you, but I have one condition. I want full control over the ship if we manage to get the ship back. The captain and the other two prisoners agree. They give me full control over the ship and over their lives. We free the prisoners. Then we go back to the forest. I give them guns and we start to plan the attack. In the middle of our conversation, we see that the sailors who stand guard wake up. They stand up. They shout to three other men who are near to them. At that moment, we shoot the guards. Then the captain speaks to the three other men. He doesn't want to shoot them, but they must be loyal to him and help him get the ship back. They agree. We tie them and leave them on the beach. The other three men who hear the shots come back. They see that the situation is changed. We are five. We have a lot of guns. 
the situation is bad for them. They also say that they want to be loyal to the captain. We tie these men too. We hide our six prisoners in the forest. Then I and the captain have finally time to talk to each other. I tell him my story, and he is shocked. He also thanks me a lot for my help. He and his two friends are hungry, so we go to my house. I show them the results of my work during all the years on the island. They are surprised when they see what I have. But we don't have much time to explore my home. We have to plan how to get the ship back. There are 16 men on board, and we are only five. First, we decide to take everything out of the boat. We think that the sailors can send another boat to the island if the men from the first boat don't come back with the next high tide. In the morning, we hear a gun. It's a signal from the ship. After some time, we hear the gun again and again. There is no answer. Then we see that the sailors take another boat and go to the beach. We see eight men. They all have guns. The captain tells me that six men are still loyal to him. But there is also the man who is the leader of the rebellion. The captain thinks that it's difficult to beat them. But I tell him that we have a good chance to win. But we have to do something quickly. The captain trusts two of our prisoners. They promise to fight on our side. We give them weapons. We are seven men ready to fight. We wait for the arrival of the boat. When the boat reaches the beach, the men jump out of the boat. They pull the boat on the beach. Then they run to the other boat. They are surprised when they see the boat empty. They call their friends. They shout. Then they shoot in the air, but it's all useless. Nobody shouts back. The sailors are confused. They don't understand the situation. They start to put the boat in the water again. It looks like they want to go back to the ship to tell the others that there is a problem. When the captain sees this, he is afraid that they can go back to the ship and leave the island forever. But ten seconds later, the sailors change their plan. Now, they leave three men in the boat. The other five men go to the forest to look for their friends. Chapter 29. Plan. We continue to watch all the actions of both groups. The five men in the forest sit down under a tree. They discuss what to do. They argue a little. After a long conversation under the tree, they get up. Then they walk to the beach. Maybe they don't want to look for friends. We have to do something quickly. We can't let them go back to the boat. I have a plan. I tell the assistant to go more to the center of the island. Friday goes with him. Then, they shout at the sailors. When the sailors hear this, they shout back. Then they go in the direction of the voice. Friday and the assistant continue to shout back. They take the sailors to the opposite side of the island. This strategy works very well. The five men are soon very far from the beach. This is very good for us. We go to the three men in the boat. We explain the situation to them. They decide not to fight us. They become our prisoners, too. After some time, Friday and the assistant return. The sailors are very far from the beach. The sailors can't return soon. We hide and we wait for them. When the sailors return, they are very tired. First, they go to the boat. They are surprised when they don't find the three men. They call their friends. But nobody answers. The leader and two other men walk to the forest where we are hiding. The captain and Friday attack them when they are close to us. The leader is killed immediately. The second man is injured. The third man runs back to the boat. Then we all go out of the forest. We run to the boat. The captain speaks to sailors. He tells them to give up. When the sailors understand the situation, they drop their weapons quickly. We decide to tie the prisoners, but we don't tie all of them. The captain trusts three of the men. We don't tie these three men. Now we are ten men. We start to plan how to get the ship. After some discussion, we know what to do. Friday and I stay on the island. We have to watch the prisoners. The captain, his assistant, and the passenger take the clothes of some of the prisoners. They want to look like them. Then the captain and his sailors take the boat. They go to the ship. When they are near the ship, they speak to the men on the ship. 
They tell them that it isn't possible to find the other men. When all of the men from the boat are on the ship, the captain shows his face and the attack begins. Some sailors are injured in the battle. Only one person is killed. It's the second leader of the rebellion. When the captain has his ship again, we hear seven shots. It's the signal that the ship is in captain's hands again. I'm happy when I hear the shots. Soon the captain goes back to the island. He tells me that the ship is now under my control. I'm so happy. I start to cry. I cry so much that I can't speak. After ten minutes, I'm able to speak again. I speak to the captain. I tell him how happy I am. The captain tells his men to bring a lot of food from the ship. We eat good food. We celebrate our victory and my departure from the island. We drink expensive wine. We eat pork, beef, and vegetable. We eat biscuits for dessert. I'm very happy when I eat this food again. The captain gives me new clothes. I have new clothes after a long time. The clothes are very light. They are a little uncomfortable first, but it's soon okay. When the party is finished, we discuss what to do with the five prisoners who the captain doesn't trust. The men are really horrible. The captain doesn't want to take them on board the ship as prisoners. It's too dangerous. I tell the captain to discuss it with the prisoners. Maybe they want to stay on the island. It's better for them because their rebellion means death in England. We go to them and we explain the situation. They have to choose between a death in England and a life on the island. I think that it's fair to let them decide. They decide to stay on the island. We put them in the cave. The cave is now the prison. I tell them to wait for more orders. Chapter 30. Sun I need some time to prepare for the journey. I need to plan what to take with me. But then I see that I don't need to take many things. I decide to take my dog, my parrot, my book, and some other small things. I also take the money, gold and silver which are from the ships. They are finally useful to me. I meet with the prisoners again. I show them my corn and my animals. And I tell them about the island. Then I go on board the ship. We leave the island in December 1686. It's 27 years after my first step on the island. First, we go to the island where Friday's people live. The Spanish and Portuguese sailors are very happy when they see us. They are happy that we have a ship. Now we don't have to build a new ship. We can go to Europe. My dog is very happy too. When he sees one of the Spanish sailors, he runs to him very quickly. He jumps on him. He is extremely happy. The Spanish sailor is his owner. He is very happy too. He starts to cry when he sees his dog. It's a very emotional meeting. The sailors start to prepare for our journey across the ocean. Friday has to make a decision. He can stay with his people. Or he can go to Europe with me. He needs some time to think about it. We stay on the island one night. In the morning, I ask Friday if he knows what to do. He tells me that he wants to go with me to Europe. He prepares everything for the journey. We are ready to go. We start our journey. Two months later, after a safe journey across the ocean, we arrive to London. For me, it's after 35 years. It looks like the whole world is different after those years. Some parts of London are new. There are some new houses, streets, roads, shops, parks, and big bridge across the river. But it isn't all. People are also different. They have different clothes. Women have different hairstyle. Men have different hats and new types of guns. People use new tools which I don't know. They have new names for these tools. It's all very interesting. The style of music in the pubs is also different. I hear new songs. I like this new style. I want to sing these new songs. From London, I return to my town, York. My parents are both dead. I find some relatives. My sister, my uncle, and my aunt are still alive. They are happy when they see me, but they think that I'm long dead. So I have no rights to family's money or land, but I can stay and live in their house. England is a big shock to Friday. Everything is so new for him. 
It's all very interesting for him. He likes this new experience. What he doesn't like is the cold weather in winter. It's February. Snow and ice aren't good for him. It isn't logical for him why we live in such conditions. I tell him that in summer the weather is much better. I send a letter to Brazil. I still remember the address very well. I want to contact people in Brazil. I want to know if my wife is still alive. I want to know if my plantation still exists. But I don't know what to expect after so many years. In May, I get a letter and some packets from my wife. She writes nice words to me. She writes about times when she waits for me. But ten years after my departure, she doesn't believe that I'm alive. She marries again and she has a new family. But her new husband is ill and he dies. It's already two years. Now she lives without a husband. I also get a letter from my wife's father. He is very old but still alive. In his letter he writes expenses and profit from my plantation during all these years. They both send me many nice presents. They send me some nice skins and a little box full of gold. They also send me some boxes of sugar to sell. My wife has also a big surprise for me. She writes that I have a son. It's great news. He is born eight months after my departure. He is now a big man, and he wants to meet me. So many things happen in a short time. I can't believe that it's all true. I want to cry, then I want to laugh. All the emotions are too much for me. I'm not able to be calm. I stand up. I sit down. I stand up again. I walk around the room. I laugh. Then I cry again. When I'm a little calm, I think about what to do. Chapter 31 Brazil I think about another journey to Brazil. I want to see my son, my wife, and my plantation. I think that I can move to Brazil, but I don't know if my wife wants to live with me. After some longer thinking, I decide to go to Brazil, but only for a visit. I want to see if it's okay to live there again. I write to my wife. I ask her if it's okay to visit them for some days. With the letter, I send nice presents to her and her father's family. Then I get a letter from my wife. She writes that I'm welcome to visit them. Her invitation makes me happy. I start to plan another journey by sea. I buy nice presents for them. Two weeks later, I'm ready to go. When we arrive to Brazil, I meet with my wife and my son. My wife is different now, but she is still very beautiful. My son is a big man. He is very strong. He is also very intelligent. He has his own family, too. He has also big responsibility. He manages plantations of all the family. He is responsible for a big land. My son speaks only Portuguese and a little Spanish. My Portuguese isn't very good after so many years. I don't remember many words. I remember only some basic words. But with practice, I start to remember words fast. In two weeks, I can have a basic conversation on many topics. And one month later, I'm able to speak very well. I'm very happy that I can speak with my wife and my son. We have so many things for a conversation. Brazil is also very different. People have different clothes. They build new types of houses. Plantations are much bigger. Many people work on them. I'm with my family for three months. I know that I'm not very far from my island. I think about visiting the island again. I want to see the island for some days. Friday also wants to see the island again. My son also wants to go. I think that it isn't a good idea. I know how dangerous the sea can be. But he wants to see the place, which he knows only from my stories. We plan our journey. Two weeks later, we leave Brazil. We go on a ship which goes to Havana. We have an agreement with the captain. He promises to stop at my island on the way there. When I arrive at my island, we meet with Friday's people. They now live on the island. I ask them, where are the prisoners? They tell me that the prisoners are not on the island. They don't know where they are. Maybe they are all dead. Friday's people tell me that they don't eat Europeans. They eat only their enemies from other islands. I'm happy when I hear that. I want to stay on the island and my son too. 
I ask the captain if he can take us back to Brazil on the way back. He agrees. I see many children who run around. It's interesting to see many people on my island. I see that the people on the island are very happy. Friday is happy there, too. He meets a woman. He likes her very much. Friday asks me if it's okay that he stays on the island with his woman. He knows that he lives thanks to me. He doesn't want to leave me without my permission. I agree. He doesn't have to stay with me all his life. It's time for Friday to start his own family. I'm happy that he has a good woman. I'm happy when I see that they love each other. I respect Friday's decision to stay on the island. I walk around the island a lot. I want to visit all the places which I know from my life on the island. I have some favorite places, for example, the Fruit Valley. I spend a lot of time there. I like this place very much. My son likes the island, too. He often walks around the island with me. I tell him many other stories about my life here. We stay on the island for 20 days. Then the ship from Havana comes. It's time to leave. We say goodbye to Friday and his people. When we leave the island, I have a strange feeling. I feel tears in my eyes. I like this place very much. My heart is connected with this island forever.